If you are interested in gaining adequate knowledge about the difference between risk assessment and job hazard analysis, then this video is for you. My name is Waliu Adegoki and on this episode of Safety Moments with Waliu La, we shall be elaborating in simple terms what makes a risk assessment document different from a job hazard analysis document. Job hazard analysis and risk assessment are both important tools used in optional health and safety management system, even construction safety management systems and every other type of safety management system to identify and mitigate potential hazard and risk in the workplace. While there is an overlap in their purpose and methodology, there are some key differences between these two. Job hazard analysis, for example, is a systematic process of identifying and evaluating potential hazard associated with a specific job or task. It involves breaking down a job or task into smaller steps, identifying the hazard associated with each step and developing control to mitigate those hazards. Job hazard analysis is typically conducted by the workers, by the safety person, by the engineer, those who are involved in the tax, who know about it, the tax with the assistance of safety professionals if need be. Risk assessment document or risk assessment, on the other hand, is a broader process that identifies and evaluates potential hazard through how the workplace organization or a particular project. It is a systematic approach to identify and analyze potential risk, assessing the likelihood and severity and the potential consequence of those risks and developing controls to mitigate or manage those risks. Risk assessment is typically conducted by a team of safety professionals with input from workers, managers, and other stakeholders that are involved in the project, mostly at the preparing stage of a project. For example, one key difference between DHA and risk assessment is their scope. DHA is focused on a specific job or task, while risk assessment is focused on the entire project, workplace, or an organization. Another difference is the level of detail involved. DHA involves a detailed analysis of each step of a job or task, while risk assessment involves a broader analysis of potential risk and hazard that may not be specific to any job or task. Also, risk assessment is carried out before the start of a project to have an overview of the potential risk and hazard to the project and to serve as a guide to project pre-planning with regards to health and safety and forms part of the document required to start a project. Job hazard analysis is being implemented upon commencement of a project when they want to start carrying out each task that has been highlighted to carry out a particular project or in an organization when they've already identified the processes involved. It looks closely specifically into various tasks to be carried out during the execution phase of a project or during production, and most times it's being used alongside the permit to work. Workers who are carrying out each task will have their names written and signed on the job hazard analysis document as evidence of communication of the hazard and risk and their commitment to complying with the control measures which has been provided. This tells us that while job hazard analysis is worker focused, the risk assessment document is more of providing evidence of identifying various hazards and risks associated to the project and the control measures that will be established upon commencement of the project. So before they start the project, everything must have been in place. Overall, both JHA and risk assessment are important tools in optional health and safety management. JHA is used for identifying and mitigating hazard associated with specific job or task, while risk assessment is used and is very useful for identifying and managing risk throughout the workplace, throughout the organization, or throughout the project life cycle. Thank you for listening. If you found this educative, kindly remember to like, share, and follow us 
on all our social media handles. On YouTube, remember to subscribe and click on the notification button for more updates. See you in the next video.